was a bit uh, hesitant to publish this review because of two reasons. One, it's because I did not like this movie at all, so much so that I just just wanted to forget about it as soon as possible. And for two, the few days after I watched this movie, I, I was a little bit sick. So yeah, that kind of uh, made me not want to publish this, you know, made me want to skip this film. But because I did watch Your Place or Mine, starring Reese Witherspoon and uh, Ashton Kutcher on Netflix, this feels more like an obligation than anything because it's a movie that I did not like. But there are a few aspects of the movie which I did like, so let me talk about that first. Despite the fact that neither Reese Witherspoon or Ashton Kutcher's characters never physically engage with each other for the majority of the film, I kind of felt that their chemistry was pretty decent, it was passable for the kind of movie they were in. I really enjoyed the idea of the protagonist switching locations, adjusting to their new surroundings and realizing that sometimes where you think you should be in your life at that particular time isn't where you actually should be. That's a good concept, but it's a concept that we've seen a number of times in a rom-com like this. Jesse Williams as Theo Martin is uh, an intriguing character that Debbie encounters who eventually changes her life or changes the course of her life. He did make me wonder whether she should actively pursue a relationship with him or with Kutcher's character because he did seem like a nice person. The writing is terrible, the film as a whole is so boring and there's a whole lot of exposition. I feel like a couple of dialogues could have been written or delivered more properly because especially during the phone conversation scenes because those conversations leave zero impact and some of the supporting cast i felt were unnecessary to the plot with uh, steve zahn as zen being the most notable example he was just a weird guy who's l like lingering in the background who wanted to hook up with reese witherspoon's character but that didn't matter to the main plot at all so he was just a filler character that I didn't give a damn about. Now in a rom-com, you tune in to see how the main characters are going to realize their love for each other and the road that leads to that realization. But in this movie, you need to endure a slew of tedious filler in order to get to that. Such as uh, Ashton Kutcher's character's uh, book or um, him assisting Jack in making friends. Like all of that was so much filler in this movie that you could just skip right to the good part which is uh, I think around the last 20 minutes of the film and you wouldn't miss a damn thing. Now, regardless of my feelings of uh, about uh, Theo Martin as a character, his uh, relationship with Debbie never really piqued my interest. There was nothing in their conversation, execution or their interaction that kept me interested as the film progressed. Now as I stated before, the movie as a whole is so boring. It was so boring that I had to watch the last 30 to 45 minutes at like one and a half times speed just so that this movie would be over that much quicker. There was nothing in the story that kept me interested or that kept me immersed. And the plot is something which I have seen multiple times before which would have been fine if this movie executed that plot well, but it hasn't. This is a very forgettable film, so much so that you'll forget most of it within a day after watching it on Netflix. I was pulled out of the movie multiple times to take a number of short breaks. The plot isn't terrible, but I was so bored watching it uh, since there was nothing in it that kept me engaged. Now this is a movie which I am not suggesting to anyone because there are obviously a lot, so much better rom-coms out there for those who are even fans of the genre. But I guess if you like uh, Ashton Kutcher or Reese Witherspoon then you might want to give it a watch but just know that it is a movie that I just do not connect with in any form. Girl, you show me down and there's no witness Got me in my field, she would never listen All the alcohol is in my liver I guess I lost and you're the winner Missing your touch, you were a good kisser I was born a saint, but now I'm a sinner